Hello, everybody. My name is Stuart Splat, and um, I'm already <laughs> kind of welling up here. Um, by the time this video goes live, um, it'll be the day before my 27th birthday. And I'm, again, I'm already kind of struggling. It's going to be a hard video for me to get through. Um, it's, okay, so I'm sure for a lot of people, it's not that big of a deal. I guess maybe the older, obviously the older people who have lived longer lives than I have, is not that big of a deal, you know, turning 27 and stuff like that. Um, but... I mean, like, I never, I don't know, approaching 30 is kind of scary to me. Um, I'm already, I'm, I'm really struggling. It's going to be a hard um, video for to get me through. Um, over the past, I'll say, six months or so, because I work with older and younger people. I mean, younger people, I say that they're 19, 20, and then I have people who are my bosses that are, well, they're all my bosses. <laughs> um, I have people who are my bosses that are um, around my age or a little older. And at one point, one of the younger people, they said, um, oh, you're closer to the GM and the store owner. Oh, you're closer to their age than you, us. That kind of bugged me. Um, it kind of really put things in perspective that, Again, I'm turning 27. Um, did all the right things, you know, went to school and everything else. And um, I, again, my field as a photographer, hard, especially when I'm a freelance fine art photographer, it's hard. Um, and uh, just when they said that, like, because to me, mentally, I feel like I could still be, like, I still have, like, the same mentality, because I graduated high school in 2013, so I feel like I could just, like, walk back right into high school or, like, college, like, nothing happened, basically. I'm still there mentally, but obviously just with the wherewithal and the knowledge of what I know from college and stuff like that, but, um, I don't know, that just kind of really put me in perspective. I mean, we hit it off good with all the the 19 and 20 year olds I work with, we, we hit it off well. Um, I like and appreciate them a lot. Um, but one video I was sent, um, we call her L <laughs> instead of saying the 20 year old L L sent me a, um, a TikTok, and she immediately thought of me and I've seen this video. You can tell my voice I'm really struggling. Um, I've seen this video at this point probably a dozen times. And um, hard for me to get through. So sometimes. Um, I mean, I've accepted it and, you know, digested it and all that properly. But um, instead of describing it to you, I'll just show you. All right. So this is the video that L sent me. Um, in regards to the video um so i'll just play this and explain why and i've got tissue ready because i'm i'm probably gonna cry so today is my 27th birthday earlier this year i had a breakdown in a grocery store parking lot knowing i was about to enter my late 20s in my head was my 16 year old self thinking i'd be a marketing executive at nbc at this age or an owner of a multi-million dollar dance studio. Then there was 20-year-old me who pictured myself married, thinking about becoming a mom by now. My tantrum in the parking lot happened because I don't have any of those things. The tsunami of shame crashed over me that felt like I was completely letting my younger self down, as if time was running out. But once I pulled myself together, I remembered that I am the happiest and healthiest I have ever felt. I finally realized that while all the tangible things my younger self romanticized still matter to me to a certain degree at 27, nothing means anything when we're not happy and healthy. Something 16 or 20 year old me never thought about. So today, instead of worrying about resumes, money, marriage licenses, and job titles, 
I will celebrate the love, joy, and connections I share with my small but extraordinary circle. I will celebrate the lessons life has taught me that helped me grow in ways I never thought I needed to. And I will celebrate the hard work I have put in to genuinely accept that I am exactly where I need to be. Today is my 27th birthday. So, <laughs> um, this video still gets me. It's probably just, I'm talking about, it. um, Um, I'm definitely not blowing myself back up because you don't need to see this. Um, so I relate to this well, um, like right from the get go, because I did when I first moved out of home to go to school, I did have a breakdown in a grocery store as well. But it was more of a homesick kind of situation. Um, and there's been some times where I really question what I'm doing with my life. And um, it sucks because you don't know what life is going to throw at you. And um, just again, I'm at this point, I'm turning 27 the day after this video comes out and uh, really kind of look at myself and I look at other people and like, what am I doing wrong kind of thing. Um, it is a little bit of me and other outside influences um, without going to, to um, without going to deep territory. I can I can compare my situation to um, uh, that 70s show, for those who have seen it, where um, Eric gets, he's like ready to move out, go to college, but then Red has his heart attack, and um, Kitty, unintentionally or not, intentionally or not, she kind of guilt trips him to stay home and put off going to college and he's like I need to get out of here and then he realizes he needs to stay it's kind of similar to what I'm going through right now but then also because COVID um, I would love to move out and then also again because of my field I would like to get a job doing I don't know what for being a photographer because for a while, it was always like, oh, I would like to be a photographer for National Geographic, be able to get be paid, get paid to travel and everything else. But they're more of a contractual basis and this, that, and the other thing. Um, and then I was talking to um, one of my other friends, Jesse, at her Halloween party, and it was kind of like, you're still living at home? I'm like, yeah. I guess it's a more common thing over in Europe or whatever that you don't really leave home till you're 30. That kind of terrifies me a little bit. Um, so I relate to this in a lot of ways. And then L uh, was showing, trying to emphasize more of the bright side of things. And I saw it too with that. It's like, why well, I might not have all these things. I am, I mean, I am happy. I'm a hopeless optimist. Um, <laughs> um, but it's like you have your friends, you have your health. That's all you can ever have. That's all you can ever hope for, basically. Um, and I still got my friends that I talk to still here in town, and then all my friends at work. Um, so it's like I just, I don't know. I just needed to kind of vent, maybe. Um, I kind of share my feelings as, again, this video goes out before my birthday. So, um, at this point, I don't even know why I'm making this video, just to kind of just 
put myself in my own just to have you guys know what I'm going through um, and just what's going how I'm approaching turning to point seven basically so So if you're anybody who knows me, have been following me for, I don't even know how long, span of time for several years now, thank you. Um, I don't even know how to end this, just thank you everybody so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.